It's a fun time of the year, it really is. We really enjoy it. The tourists are here, the locals are come down and join in. The harbour's lined with people, particularly if they're arriving in the mid to late afternoon on a nor'easter. They come round to Corf Island, they set a spinnaker to hit the finish line and it really is quite a spectacle and um, it's fun. When they get to the club, they're pretty worn out but they do like a rum or ten and a beer or five and, uh, and we're more than happy to keep the club open for that whole 24 hour period just to make sure that we give them the best hospitality and the best welcome we can possibly give them. We set a big marquee up out the front of the club, that's race, that's race headquarters for want of a better word and, uh, and the party just goes on and on and on and you see some people wander off for a little snooze and then they come back again, me included. Uh, the race is about coming to Coffs Harbour and enjoying it for what it is and quite often the boats are received and welcomed by family members from the crew. There are restaurants galore up and down Jetty Strip here, just not far from the club. And you can eat anything from a bit of pub grub to some great Italian, there's Vietnamese, there's Thai, uh, there's of course a seafood restaurant. And I'll tell you now, the, the Coffs Harbour Fishermen's Co-op and this area of, of, New, of the New South Wales coast, we often catch the best prawns in, in Australia. And our prawns that, that come from Coffs Harbour are world-renowned. Um, I can remember sitting in a New York restaurant about four, four or five years ago when we were offered Australian prawns. It was a lot more expensive than I pay for them here, but we were offered new Coffs Harbour prawns in New York. I was pretty impressed with that. <laughs> First and foremost, if you're thinking about doing the race, you're not quite sure yet, book accommodation now. Book it as early as you can. It is the busiest week of the year, Christmas to New Year, so a lot of accommodation is full. Don't miss out because you can't get a bed. My strong advice to you is look, get online, have a look at all the accommodation that's available and, and make sure you book. And if you can't get here for some whatever reason or if you, the boat's got to go straight back home again for whatever reason, not a problem. Just book it now.